Always appreciate it. I like hearing your response to the top 64. Top 64. Let's go. We're top 32. Top 32. We're moving up. Alright, boys. So, here we have um, domestic abuse. Oh, shit. I mean, uh, sorry, that's not. That's not. Uh, the white slave owner Daisy versus uh, <laughs> her husband. Her whip husband. <laughs> Luigi's just an honest man trying to get by, and Daisy doesn't care. Well, Daisy scares me. Cause he's like actually like not bad with Daisy. And like, yeah. Uh, and he also has that he has that turn up for RNG already on pack. <laughs> to be fair, you used that against him earlier. Well, like, yeah, but I also was catching turnips like really well when I played him, and that's not always the case. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. No, no, he saved his jump. Good on Brady to save his jump. Yeah. I know that uh, Mason's really good at like punishing and catching landings, like very specifically as uh, Daisy. Like he doesn't really have like the combo game like super down yet, but like he's really good at like coverage. Like, well, yeah, because it's like that stuff you have to do is Bayo, and like Bayo's bad, but Daisy is a, a top tier, so uh, you know it just carries right over, and uh, luckily. Also float, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that fits him. Uh, float as a mechanic fits him pretty well. Cause like yeah. with Bayo, he's used to being used to being able to fly around, and while it's not quite as fast, yeah. ooh, that should be death. Yeah. What and better way to practice turn events than Luigi? Yeah, this dude. is probably not a super great map for Daisy. Or for Luigi. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's probably some things he can do in neutral to keep up just because he has such good frame data. Uh, I can't imagine. I imagine that was supposed to be a B reverse fireball, but here we are. Yeah. I've noticed also Brady like going for like, I saw he got a zero to death earlier. Like, he, he's been getting a lot more conversions off of like just like random hits in neutral and up B. And like, he, he was hitting me with some stuff earlier. Granted, I'm BBB, so like, I don't die to that, but still. <laughs> yeah. You should live forever. Yeah. But. I got very, very good stuff from both these players so far. And then. Brady's really good at edge guarding too. He's starting to do the, the annoying thing that Gage does where he just down tilts a bunch and then just. Dude, puts down the plunger. tilt is so good. Down tilt and plunger are both amazing. Yeah. They down tilt super fast and plunger lasts for so long and it doesn't clank with anything. So you just kind of get hit. A good conditioning from Brady though because he down threw him and he's just waiting for the air dodge. So I think that last time he did that, Mason uh, yeah. tried to. But... Yeah, I mean, I, I've kind of noticed that Mason air dodges a lot, like, in, like just out of disadvantage. Yeah, I think that's definitely a very Bayo thing because yeah. he's used to being able to just bats out um, if they're not perfect on their punish. But with normal characters, that's not the case. I think Brady needs to be a bit more careful because, like, he's really good at keeping them off stage. But right when they, like, choose an option, I've noticed he's been going for reverse air smash a lot, which. Uh, yeah, not, it's not the greatest option, but it looks cool as fuck. Well, I'm, I'm wondering if he's uh, if Ooh, that's intentional okay, or not. Yeah. All right, now we have an even game, boys and girls. I mean, yeah, we got we got an even game, boys. <laughs> nope. Oh, nice uh, yeah, I don't a, a really un, like unexpected option is like now. Granted, if you roll towards ledge and they read that, you're dead as fuck. But like sometimes you gotta do it to them because uh, yeah. a lot of people don't expect it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice tag, good tag, buddy Luigi. <laughs> I couldn't have put it anywhere. Yeah, good tag, good tag, but Brady's character's bad, so it doesn't matter. We've all been there. <laughs> Ooh, barely Ooh. missing grabs. So that seems to be like... the theme of the day, is no one can grab. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. Yeah. This virus got a neck up. Yeah, dude. Hey, we need to add that to the symptom list. Yeah. Do you, do you support my theory that uh, Shek created the virus just to um, force tournaments on the Wi-Fi so they can brief with Richter? Um, I have no reason to believe that that's not 100% true. <laughs> like, you can't go when it's during a lab and stuff, so it's like, it's the only way. Yeah. That was gusty, I don't know if he meant to, it looks like a fireball again, but if that works? Yeah, I think most of the time whenever that happens, it's, it's, it's Ooh, supposed to be a fireball. Down that, was a, back that was a good DM mix-up. Yeah. I know it's some persons that can kill, too, because yeah. we just got a chonky back here. It's like a surprisingly like powerful back here. Yeah, because he's got a lot of lag on the end of it, so he just like he got bricks in his shoes. You see that full hop land at Luigi into jab one two three. Amazing I hit by it. Down throw or back okay, back throw. He slams him on the ground, shout out to Luigi snake the three. Yeah. I thought he got a jab up here. Oh. Like, oh my gosh. So, surprisingly not dying from it, but here we are. Brady's so cool, but I, it's just all the cool stuff he does doesn't work. <laughs> at, at, He's also like the best masher ever. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> Dude, he probably went to the Deccan School of Mash. I think you killed yourself while air dodging. Yeah, I think you did too. I've done that before. We've all, yeah. Because uh, Pe Peep showed it to me. You like 
Yeah, lurch back, back yeah. yeah. Just like give the illusion that you're not just like rocketing forward. Yeah. And so Brady was very much alive, but then he, he stabbed himself in the foot with a, a, a quick press of the L button. Or the R button. I don't he know held, which one he pressed. The you could never say know. he held the L. Yeah. Well, good stuff from Brady though, game one. Um, I think if he can find a way to get those grabs, then we may be able to uh, tell a little bit of a different story here. I wish, dude, I wish the quarters were best out five. I want to see if this says best out five. I mean, if we ran best of five, I mean, we probably could with how few people this bracket is, but like... Also, just, we could get out really early. So. Yeah, I feel like that's probably better. Because yeah. some people, you know, they have class in the morning, like me. <laughs> I have class. Hey, I have an 8 a.m. Cool. I have a 9.05 class in green. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we live in a society. I think we could have just jumped back here instead of going for that second up air. I'm not sure. I know the back hit of Luigi's up air is really good for combo game. Oh yeah, because it's in nowhere. It's like a falcon or something like that. Oh, yeah, let's go. That's one I've seen many, many times. Yeah. I've also seen it miss many, many times. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Aww. Uh, I mean, hey, we take that damage, though. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Like, even if you miss the zero to death, you still get so much damage. Yo, what is this, bro? Dude, he's chonking him. Punished Brady. Oh. I, I really respect that. Honestly, Dude, that's, honestly, that's, Brady, Brady's a match, man. Dude, that's the kind of confidence I need. Ooh, getting the coin in. Very unfortunate. Coin, yeah. Gets hit with the golf club, a normal Tuesday activity for Luigi. Uh, yeah. Thursdays is more the frying pan for anything. White slave owner Daisy, uh, <laughs> really feeling yeah. it. I think it's more indentured servitude. Indentured servitude. Yeah. Really feeling the crack of that whip. Ooh, nice up smash out of shield. Are these the same players? What's going on? <laughs> I think they switched controllers. Uh, oh, <laughs> good, good. Oh, it clanked again. That was definitely a good idea by Mason, but. It just happened to clink, I guess. Okay, that's a good clink. Ooh, good air dodge. That was a really good air dodge. Like, that angle? Ooh, man. That was spicy. Ooh. Okay, I don't know about that dash attack, but he's probably still living, but he has to make it back. To that the was a really good forward air, too. Dude, he's got to chop them veggies. And big booty. And Brady, that was his first stop. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Dude, he's, uh... Like, Mason's, like, all, always really good, but like, I think that, like, with them, like, learning their characters, like, or especially, like, Mason with Luigi. Oh, no, okay. Ooh. Like, Brady's really coming a long way here. Like, I, he's doing a lot of good stuff now. Yeah, I think Ooh. he's really found a way to dial in, and I think the biggest difference is that he's actually, like, hitting a lot of his different punishes, especially the down throw up yeah. Even though he's missed it once, he hit it. Oh, yup. Yeah. Nice. Man. All right, so we have both of these players are so good at finishing, but then like in disadvantage, like it just all falls apart. I mean, yeah, that's how how it happens sometimes. So definitely the highlight of that game, Brady Ford had a turn up to not die. Yo, chop them veggies. <laughs> like, wow, Twenty dollar slices. That's what I call Luigi F smash. That, that lunch meat special. You get that part slice. He's got that double ham. <laughs> double ham. Double, double ham fat and ham and cheese, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the soy steamer. <laughs> Philly cheese steak. I <laughs> yeah, no, that was uh, very much different than what happened game one, let me tell you. Um, did uh, I want to say they both have two stocked each other so far. I think so. Yeah. And hey, this is best two out of three. Like, this, this is a game like this that I was like, man, dude, this would be a really good best of five. Yeah, it would be. But, but we live in a society. We live in a society. Talons, oh, the bubblegum KK power up. That was a mistake from Brady's part. <laughs> yeah, Mason. Dot does, eyes uh, immediately. I mean, not as not as vicious as the. Oh, uh, okay. That, yeah, that's 25. a quick. Twenty-five. That's a quick, quick damage. Okay. Ooh. So obviously that's not gonna not gonna kill, but gets that damage straight back. But he's got a lot of good dash attacks too. Like um, very unsafe move if you if you fuck up, but um, he just hit most of them. I'd say. Yeah, I think it's a really good coverage move because it's out for so long and it's like fairly strong. And honestly, at our level of play, like people drop shield on multi hits a lot. Yeah. I say that as someone who does it a lot. Oh yeah, no, I do too. Yeah. So like, it's a really good option. Mm, but really when, good recap. When people adapt to it, you can get punished pretty hard. Mason's really good with like his turn up game already too. Like I, I don't know how long he's been playing maybe, but like he's like really good at like recatches and like like just uh, like area denial with him. Yeah, I know. I know he had been thinking about 
picking up. Uh, he's always had the Daisy the secondary, but I'm surprised he's like going Daisy like all of this weekend. Yeah. yeah. I think he just really wants to try to learn the character, make sure he gets the reps in like, that's a, a really applicable scenario. That's and I respect that. I feel like getting turn up catches is really important in a matchup where like you kind of struggle against Daisy. Cause, like, that was a good wait, but unfortunately Luigi has stubby limbs. Ooh, Ooh. Nice misfire. Probably saving him. Ooh, nice. It maybe should have backered, but back that's, that's fine. He's still an advantage, and that's really what counts. Especially against a character like Daisy. Ooh, no. Uh, that was a bit of an overzealous grab, but it didn't kill. But Luigi I, offstage at 150. There was a small part of me that thought that uh, that Luigi's grab was going to be slow enough to beat out the spot. I think one of Brady's biggest nice. play, ooh, really good over the dash side, but Brady goes for a lot of F smashes, and granted, that's not a bad move by any means, like, any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, but you have to be careful. But yeah, it's like, I'm noticing he's hitting, like, most of his move. That was a questionable air dodge. He was at 174, so, like, it's not, it's that, not that big, big a deal, deal, but, like, sometimes having that stock buffer... I mean, Luigi with rage, dude. That's yeah, like a whole exactly. stack. Exactly. Especially on this stage where you need, like, you probably need rage a little bit to hit the uh, zero to death at certain percent, but now he's just back your bash packs, and now he's faces at 48. That's just like you said. Yes, sir. I, I call him like I see him. Ooh, nice. Ah, that was really good. Yeah. Good extension. Instead of just going for the raw back. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. That's best best match, man. He got the slice out for Daisy. Slice. Okay, what's he gonna do? Okay, I respect Ooh, the attack. Nice. Um, no combo. Ooh. So I don't be out of disadvantage. I feel like that's not a terrible option against Peach Daisy because a lot of time in that situation they're gonna be pressing a lot of buttons. So like there's a good, Ooh, good DI. I think that was a DI. That was a DI mix up, yeah, for sure. Either that or timing mix up. That, Adachi has told me about that where it's like if, if you catches that, like he can definitely back here and kill me at like some percent, especially on DDD. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's such a strong move. You know, like he killed him in the middle of the stage at like yeah. a pretty reasonable Ooh. percent. Ooh. All right, so damage, but the forward air man of hits. <laughs> that's tough. Tough enough. Yeah, that was a good float out of the fireball. Cause I know, a, like yeah. a lot of characters in that situation have to awkwardly land. Ooh. That was lucky. Yeah, I mean, you, sometimes you just gotta count your blessings. That caught. Okay, nice. If the platform on there, I think he would have gotten a back air. I think so too, and that could have been curtains with this much rage. This Ooh. is scary for Mason right now. Yeah, Brady's playing really, really well right now. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, oh, he had that reach. All right. I wonder if he's gonna go back there. One more of those, though, and I think that's it. Potentially, yes. I wonder if he'll ever go for a DI mix-up where he like fades a down throw and then uses the ma ma uh, bad DI to kill with back throw. I guess at this percent, it probably doesn't matter. That's a really good forward air to side dude too. Yeah. Because that move's kind of hard to deal with sometimes. Ooh, I think Brady needs to use down smash actually a little bit more. Like, yeah. Instead of forward smash. It's a pretty solid move. It's quick and the like. You can mix up the timing by like turning around and hitting the back hit. This is a very terrifying position. Yeah, I could have told you that was about to happen. Yeah. I've also noticed that Mason doesn't really ever angle his smash attacks. Never goes for like the uh, the racket or the uh, the frying pan. And I feel like in a lot of that situations, was a really good recast. Like that was a very intentional recast too. Yeah. You know, you just... yeah, yeah. That's it. Get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. And Brady places in the money at Clock Tower's match. Is that top four?